thicker. This is a Victor, Victrola. I'm much thinner at that point. This one's got water damage, but anyway, that's how thick they are. the needles for the Victoria or Edison or that's what the needles look like. And then you can see how dirty they are for guys. It's got all sorts of lint on the needle. So hold on. This is how you turn it off. Right there. This is slower or faster. Well, that was on fast, but it sounded pretty good. This is a crank. You can get anywhere from two to four minutes on a crank. This is a path. This is an Edison case that my mother just put her records in. There's no innards to it, but um and then this is there was red silk behind there at one point, but I just took it out so the sound could come out. Uh, needles last for one play. You can see it's kind of dull and it's got a little bit of lint on it. Um, I'm going to show you what I used to replace the screw that was missing. This screw, when I put, took it, it worked when I was at my mother's house. And as I picked it up, this fell off, the screw fell out, and it fell down inside the holes on the side. There's just a teeny, I don't know, it's dark in here, but there's a teeny, teeny little hole in the side, and the screw is so small, it fell down on the side. So I went to the hardware store, I'll show you what they've decided to use. Let me turn my swamp cooler off, it's kind of loud. Sorry. For a minute, so you can hear. I'm sorry, my house is absolute mess. Okay, so I went to the hardware store and they suggested, oh, it's actually in the other room. Hang it. I'm working on 18 projects at the same time. Okay, so they gave me all of these parts, which is a couple of bucks, to try and make a, can you kind of see it? Let me see if I can get it out of there. Because I needed one that has a big head of Okay, maybe there. So they put a plastic cap with a wing nut and a thread that was the same size with a little washer. Okay, so that's what they suggested. It wasn't, it just wasn't going to work for me because this needed to screw down further. The part that it was exactly like is this little one right here, and the threads are very close together. And that didn't work because um, this one's bent, so I can't use it to make another one. I couldn't have a machinist to make another one because this one is actually bent. So I went to a neighbor's house, and she had a Victrola case without the innards, and she had this screw on her little diaphragm thing. Hers is um, not an Edison, not a Victrola. Hers is, shoot, hers is a different brand, and the screw is what I needed, but this one you can see is much bigger than the threads on this one, which is the size I needed. So, kind of said a prayer again. I'm so grateful for prayer because <laughs> it inspires me. So what I actually did was I found this bag of watches that I had, and there was a wind-up watch, this Timex watch, came in this case, and I thought the, the closest thing I could think of to matching that was the little turner thingy to wind a watch. And so I've seen them before, and they have screws on them, well, I took this one off. There was a teeny, teeny little screw. You can see that screw in there. It was right here on the back of right here on this watch. And I took it off, and out came that little stem. Now, the stem fit in there perfectly, wound down, and you just heard it played. And so this was um, after I went to the hardware store, I went to an eye uh, glass place in town that fixes eyeglasses. And this screw had the right amount of thread the distance apart, but it was so teeny that the head wouldn't hold the record player piece on. So I just wanted to share how I fixed that because I was at a quandary as to how to make that record player work. It's so fun to listen to those old records, but um, that's how I did it. As I just got that piece from an old watch, 
put it in there and it was perfect. So, you know, go to a second hand store, ask your neighbors if anybody has any old watches they don't want. And this one was broken anyway, it wouldn't wind up. I didn't want to break one that was actually working, but this winding mechanism was broken anyway. So I figured if I pulled it apart, maybe I could find a screw that would work, and I did, and it's perfect. It, it held that you could hear that it was playing, and it, and it worked great. The other thing I wanted to share with you about the needles on this Victrola is that you, sorry, my mother's estate got dropped off, and this Victrola was part of the estate, and I'm still working on polishing up all the pieces. Um, anyway, so these little cups hold these needles. These needles, I thought, you know, will go for a lot of records. They don't. They wear down very quickly, and apparently, after reading and researching online, you need to replace them every... Let me see if I can show you on a piece of paper. You can see it's kind of worn down. Um, you need to replace them every play. Uh, I did not know that. Otherwise, they'll scratch the record and dull the record. Is that any better? No. Anyway, maybe on the black. So, um, replace those. They're about a hundred. You can find them online or on eBay or whatever for about a hundred for ten bucks. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order those. But these screws, on the other hand, are very hard to find. And so I was very grateful for that inspiration because I have that now and it will work. And uh, as you could hear at the beginning, that worked great. So Yahoo for that. Uh, check out my blog for more close-up pictures and, and instructions um, on how I did that. TheSecretIsGratitude.com And on the bottom of the homepage on the left, there's a, a box that says, you know, search, and you can type in Victrola or old records or something like that, and I will post a little bit more description of what I did. Thanks for watching.